So we use the catch-all rig in here. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. I'm getting tired. Nice job. <laughs> All right. All right, we are going to meet our friend Ben right now. We're trying to catch some redfish so we can cook it up and eat it. We're on what part of what river? St. John's River right now. Very interesting drive to get into the boat dock. As we're really going through like what looks like the backwoods marsh area. This is where he keeps his boat. Oh my God, look, muddy. Stella's now. docking at Joe's house. He brings back all the shrimp and all the bait. I think we're gonna meet him out on, on the river here. Pick up some actual live fresh shrimp.
just right here in between the moving water and the more still one. Now I'll set up my other rod. This one with a high level. This is what I catch bait with. Maybe we can catch some um, some croakers. Croakers are the best bait right now. So I'm gonna put this on and try and catch some croakers. Good bait right here. That's why I use a sabiki rig. Okay. Okay. And you can catch up to five at a time this way. Hey. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, okay, this is really easy to use. A sabiki, you just drop it down, let it sink to the bottom. And then once it's on the bottom, you just start jiggling it up and down really lightly. And make sure it's on the bottom. See, once there's one on, keep it on there and more will hop on. Croakers. Oh. Nice croaker. Don't put it in there, man. That croaker, put it in the bucket. Put it in there. Yeah, that's an eat. That's an eat, not one. Not oh. Shit. Nice, man. That's a redfish, huh? I don't know. I'm guessing it is. Probably not. That's not gonna happen. Don't even say it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Any pliers? bites on the sabiki today. Oh, nasty meow, meow. fish, yeah. Hey. Abandoned hole. Oh, look at those lips. Farting all over <laughs>
want to this? Is it a big one? I don't know what it is. It looks big. It could be stingray. Oh, is it, what is that? Joker. Look at that Joker. Oh, that's a nice Joker. That's what he said it was. Some, some of the Joker that's 20 inches in there. Nice Joker there. Oh my god, that was big. Oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. Hey, Ben, do you have anything to put the cooker in the cooler? What Got a high low rig here. This is the catch all rig. This is one of the best bottom rigs. Just drop it straight down. Once you feel it hit the bottom, give it a little bit more line. Just kind of jig it up and down. Also just leave it. Cooker. What's that? Fall. The season is getting bigger. There's a lot of oils in there. Very fattening. Good eating. Big fat croaker. Oh my gosh, I love croaker. Yes. You might just do a croaker catching cook. But it's nice and light. Okay, so this is my last rig. I've tried the sabiki, I tried the high low, and now I'm using the sure catch. This rig um, allows the shrimp to kind of flow in the water and kind of move with the current without it being too restricted like the high-low rig. When the current's really fast, this is the way to go. And we can either, either catch cro croaker, red drum, black drum, any, anything will bite this. But honestly, like I said, I'll be happy catching croaker because those are really tasty fish.
My, my, oh my. It's looking like it's a good day of croaker fishing. So this is how the fish finder rig works. Basically, you just drop it straight down or you cast it out and you leave it there and you wait for something to pull, but you don't set the hook right away. You wait for it to actually give it a good pull, then you start reeling. We're using dead shrimp here. Rip off the head, rip off that tail. We're gonna put this whole thing on like this. Now what? Now you cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and you wait. While you wait, keep an eye on your rig. One. A big croaker like this, it look like almost like you're catching a, a little puppy red, you know, a small yeah, redfish. It's a lot of fighting and it's kind of fun. Wait. Alright dad, let's see who can catch the most croaker in five minutes. Okay, set a timer. Holy cow! Oh no, it is. It's just a humongous croaker. Holy cow! One hit. Catch these than just one big redfish, right? Yeah, so the thing is, we could catch redfish, but we would only be able to keep one redfish each. This, we can keep a lot more. It's a lot more fun, more action. Generally, just tastier fish. I don't like eating redfish that much. Let me get this onboard bathroom. <laughs> I can fit. Privacy, please. Piece of privacy. I'm gonna lock you in there.
I fell asleep in there, guys. Oh. You look like... That was a good nap. <laughs> it was a good nap, huh? Should I empty that bucket now or later? Now. Now? I'll do it now. Okay, we caught a lot of huge croaker. Now we're gonna take them back home, cook them up in a few different ways, and let's feast. Right. Amen. Here's our Yeti cooler. Wow, look at these golden. This thing is massive, y'all. These are nice sized croaks. And we're gonna eat these in a really special way. We're gonna butterfly them up and um, eat them in a very special way. this fish and tonight we have Mediterranean on the menu so this is a way that we're going to just highlight the natural flavor of the fish with very simple ingredients we're gonna have a delicious very light and healthy meal and it's gonna highlight the fish so let's get going looks really interesting. Have you had a butterfly fish before, Aaron? No, actually. I don't think so. That looks delicious. 
Hope you're hungry. I'm amazed and also starving. Okay, let's eat. Okay. Put some fish on here. You can eat the skin and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, it's crunchy. Look. Just break it. Oh, my goodness. You can just use this and go like this. And just grab it. it. Yep. Want to try it? Yeah, absolutely. Dip in the hummus, too. Okay, here. Delicious, right? Oh How is that a croaker? Oh my gosh. That is good. That croaker is good, right? <laughs> really good. Mmm. Did you hear how crispy it is? Yeah, you should eat a, a carrot. Carrots are good for you. Oh my goodness. Up, we gotta go inside. Know, this <laughs> fish. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really itchy. This is an amazing meal. I think we're gonna run inside and finish eating because the, the bugs are the Florida mosquitoes and no seams are tearing yeah. us up. We gotta get out of here. But I love you and thank you for setting this up. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Um, if you enjoyed watching videos like this, please give us a like up, please subscribe, and uh We'll see you next time. Bye. Here it comes. Flip it to the side, Dad. Turn it to the side. Yes! Oh, damn. Nice! That's with the sure catch rig. This is my other sure catch rig with no with no floats on it. All right, if you can land it on this rod, this is gonna be impressive, Dad. They call it super trap. The trout. Look at that bend though. It'd be even better if you try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming up, it's coming up. It's gonna go for another run, I bet you. It's gonna go for one more run. Oh my god! This is on our, our, our sure catch rig, our catch all rig. Alright, easy dad, easy dad, easy dad. Come on, Ben. Closer. A little bit closer, Dad. Yes. Yes. All right. Nice job. So we use the catch-all rig in here. Look at this. Look at that. Wow! I'm getting tired. Nice job! Alright! <laughs>